Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I wanted to talk to you guys about my IUD experience. And the IUD that I specifically am talking about is the Marina. For those of you that have like the Copper, the um, Kylina, Skyla, whichever one, this is about my experience with the Marina IUD. And the Marina IUD is good for five years. And yeah, so let's just get started. So I figured I'd share my experience with you guys because as of three days ago, I had mine removed. And I'll tell you guys the reasons why I had it removed. Um, first of all, I did have the ID Marina for three years with my first son and then two years with my second son so a total of five years i've used a marina iud and let me tell you i actually really love it as a form of birth control because you don't have to remember to take a pill every day you don't have to remember like remember to change out like a new ring a patch you don't have to do any of that you don't have to get a shot you don't have to do any of that I loved the IUD because I never re like noticed it there. I had birth control and I didn't even know it, you know. I just never really had to worry about it other than a few things and I'll mention them in the video. But for birth control, the IUD is like a super simple method and it works. Um, obviously, every birth control, there's a chance of pregnancy that's very, very unlikely. But it does happen. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But for birth control, I did love the IUD. So for the first time that I did get the IUD, I got it when my son was six months old. And I didn't like pay attention to any symptoms or I just never thought anything of how I felt, my weight, mood, any of that. I just never pinpointed it to the IUD. So I did have that for like two and a half years because when my son turned three we decided to get it out and start trying for a second kid and I got pregnant right away so like literally a month after I got the IUD out I was already pregnant so I wasn't off of birth control for a long time to notice any like difference with my second I got my IUD when he was six weeks old at my postpartum visit like my six week postpartum visit and I got it there. I was on it for two years as of like pretty much almost two years because um, my son is now two. And I mean, I love it. I did have different experiences both times. The first time I had the IUD, which was with my first son about three years ago, I did have a period, very light periods. And I don't really remember any other symptom besides having periods. So that's why I did choose the Marina again because I loved it. I didn't have any issues as I thought. But this time around with my second son, I did notice some different things that I didn't remember having before. Like before on my first IUD or before any birth control or anything. So first, I never really noticed anything until i started kind of trying to pinpoint things and try different things out and nothing really worked so i was like maybe it's the iud so i'm not saying the iud caused this it's just one thing that i think could have caused my symptoms so this time around with the iud i did not have any periods and prior to any birth control, I did have pretty heavy periods and they did last about seven to eight days. Um, with my first IUD, I still did have light periods that would last about two to three days, but they were pretty light. Um, with this one, I either don't bleed at all during like my periods, but I do sometimes spot very, very lightly, like only when I wipe. If I didn't want to, I wouldn't have the need to wear a panty liner, but I still choose to just in case I end up bleeding more than what I think I'm going to, you know? Um, so yeah, with this second marina, I didn't have periods after about six months. My periods completely stopped, but I still did have like my PMS symptoms before I got my periods. Like a week or two before, I would get like and mind you, I never had any of these symptoms before any birth control or with my prior um, IUD. 
I had like abdominal cramping, like really bad cramps um, that I never actually ever had in my life. So I did have the cramps that were really bad. I had headaches every now and then when my period's about to start. My breasts, never in my life had I had this, were so sore and tender. Like if I was producing milk, if for those of you that are moms and know what I'm talking about, like if you're breastfeeding, like you, when they're like full of milk, that achiness, that's how they felt. And like lumpy, it was just, they were just really painful around the time when I was gonna get my period. And then I had the headaches, the cramps, lower back pain. Um, I first blamed it on the epidural. Um, and my mom also thought it could have been the epidural because I didn't have an epidural of my first. And my mom never had an epidural until um, her third child because she was gonna get a tubal ligation. Um, so she did have to have an epidural. And she says that after all of her other kids and me, after my first son, I never had lower back pain until she had her epidural and then I got an epidural and I started having lower back pain. So I didn't know if to blame it on that, but after researching, I did see that lower back pain is a sign of, um, or is a symptom of having an IUD. So I do have the lower back pain. And yeah, I didn't bleed at all, like I said, even though, I was on my period, I still had no bleeding. It was just the cramping that was really bad. Breast pain, tenderness, lumps, lower back pain, headaches. Um, that's kind of where my symptoms were this time around with the marina, which they were pretty like tolerable. They weren't horrible to where I was like, okay, I need this thing out, you know? But that's um, what my periods were like. And then now moving on to my mood, my depression, my anxiety, things like that. I have been on antidepressants since my first born. Um, I go off and on from them because sometimes I feel like I don't ever notice a change. And I've been on a couple of different ones and on all of them, I feel like I've never actually felt a change. Um, obviously, situations in life is what makes things worse or better, things like that. But being on an antidepressant, I and working like at a clinic, I never felt like patients that come in and they're like, my life is completely like changed around. I feel so much better. I never felt like that. I never felt like they worked. And then, like I said, after doing some research, I did see that the IUD could cause some like depression, mood swings, things like that. So I figured, you know what? I've been on antidepressants for so long. Never noticed a change. Maybe my moods... Um, my depression, I'm not like depressed where I cry, it's more depression where I'm fatigued, I'm really tired. If I could sleep all day, I would. I bet you anything, I would. Um, I have no interest of doing anything. All I want to do is like lay down, chill, relax. Um, and I have like no motivation. Like I really don't want to do anything. So that's kind of like what my depression is. Um, and yeah, like I been on antidepressants nothing helped so i was like you know what after researching maybe it could be the iud that's causing me to have the depression anxiety moods um but i just never noticed or never thought it could be that prior to researching and yeah so fatigued all of that stuff next with the iud sorry i have my notes here because i always tend to forget a lot of stuff um the next thing i did want to talk about even though doctors say um the iud or, or birth control does not cause that much weight gain after like thinking back and noticing a couple things i honestly think the iud and birth control did cause me to like gain a lot of weight so I know at my work, um, we do not tend to recommend girls that do not want to gain weight the Depo Provera because of the weight gain. And the Depo does have progesterone, so I mean, each hormone I guess could be different because the Marina IUD does have levogesterone. I don't know how to say it exactly. But to me, I feel like any hormone causes some effects to your body. I mean, there are hormones, you get me? So they say that it doesn't cause weight gain at all, 
but like I said I honestly do think it does cause weight gain because in the last five years like I mentioned before I've gained 50 to 60 pounds and I have been unable to lose that weight and as you if any of you have seen my previous videos I've been on Ventramine twice the first time I did work pretty good but then I gained the weight back and that was my fault I'm not gonna say that was the IED's fault but the second time it never worked and that was a couple years after so it should have worked because Ventramine you technically can use for longer periods of times I know they say that's only approved for three months but no you could use it for a long time after that my weight loss clinic does it and it's approved to be used longer and on top of using Ventramine I have used other weight loss um, medications with the fentramine and I still never lost a pound with it so I you know haven't had any luck losing weight with weight loss medications that do cause weight um, weight loss and then another thing is and my weight or my eating habits I don't think they've changed at all maybe like there's some days where I do binge I'm not gonna say I don't but ever since I was young and since my parents remember, since my cousins, my family, my grandma remembers, I remember now, even till this day, she tells a story that when she would come from Mexico to visit us, she has memories of me going, I was always in my room because, you know, kids in their rooms, texting, doing whatever. I would just get out of my room, go to the kitchen, get a plate of food, like stuffed with food, go back to my room like an hour later, come back out, food, go back in my room. So, and I'm not like never used to gain weight. I never gained weight until like after I started. And that's one thing that I like started like kind of pinpointing. After I had my IUD placed with my second son is when I first started to gain weight. And like I said, I never like really paid attention to it until now. <sighs> Sorry. Um, and then with this, the baby, I was able to lose like the pregnancy weight, but all that extra pounds that I had gained, I still wasn't able to lose weight. And now what happens is I track my calories and I exercise. During the week, I do not eat out and I do not like cheat. So I am able to lose up to like three to four pounds. Most likely it's usually like three pounds. Not fat, obviously, I don't know, probably most likely water, um, water weight. Um, but during the weekend, the one day that I eat out and the one meal, which is like Saturday night for dinner that we go eat out, I gain all the weight that I lost plus more. And it's this cycle that because of that plus more that I gained each week, I end up gaining like two pounds because I lose it, but I end up gaining more during the weekend. And then that more sticks. I lose two pounds. I still am two pounds heavier than last week weekend comes I gain the two pounds that I lost plus like two more it's just like the cycle where I just keep gaining 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 and I am not able to like lose any weight and I also noticed a lot of bloating and swelling like the water retention which I used to not have at all back in the day and yeah I could increase my water intake I'm not gonna blame it all on that but I mean I never had this and I feel like I my body just acts older than what it is with like the water retention and stuff but it's just to the point where i've tried everything and the weight just does not come off so to me and my personal experience i do believe any sort of birth control can cause weight gain because you're putting in your body hormones that are usually not there or you're putting excess hormones that aren't in your body there and i have had for those of you that are like have you do you have any medical conditions or any like thing like that i have checked hormone levels i have checked thyroid i have checked everything and everything is normal doctors just don't find anything that causes my weight gain oh and another thing before i do forget and this is a little tmi but related to the like periods and side effects things like that with the breast tenderness i do still produce milk a year and a half after i have stopped breastfeeding and so i am wondering if after stopping the or getting the id removed if the milk will kind of stop and like go away but yeah that's kind of a little off topic topic from the weight gain but i do want to mention that i still do produce 
milk. I don't know if anyone out there does. And they did check like the hormones recently in like two months and everything was normal. So I don't know. Um, but with the weight gain, like I was saying, everything that they've checked is normal. Um, I'm on antidepressants, some that help with weight loss too, like Wellbutrin, Still and Fluoxetine. Those usually mostly cause weight loss instead of weight gain. And I still don't lose weight. I just don't know what to do. So, oh, apparently I'm getting tired now. Um, I like just was thinking and obviously you have to think of the pros and cons of getting the IUD removed or having the IUD to me the cons were pregnancy because we don't want to have another kid until I'm either a year left with school or until I'm done with school um and then also periods periods was a big one for me because I have not had a heavy regular period for like I'd say like five years now and periods to me are horrible from remembering my normal periods to what my periods are now are like non-existent I did not want a period and three days ago I got my IUD removed and I am spotting and bleeding like a period so I'm not excited about that and the other one's pregnancy but there's other measures like condoms pull out method there's different ways and for us it's like if it happens it happens like even people on birth control get pregnant unlikely but you do you know so we're like if it happens it happens the periods were kind of a bigger one for me and also what if none of my symptoms resolve and I just took my birth control out and what if my insurance doesn't cover getting it in again you get me so there's things you have to think of and then the pros are what if I end up being able to lose weight what if my depression anxiety moods all of that improve what if my lower back pain resolves what if like my bloating water retention swelling all of that like goes away you get me and I did do a lot of research and I did read a lot of reviews and that's why I did decide to get my IUD removed. A lot of the reviews that I was reading of people that had their IUD removed after having similar symptoms like mine, they were saying that some obviously they're like really lucky but some were saying that a couple days after removing their IUD, oh my gosh I cannot stop going but some were saying that after removing their IUD a few days a few days later they lost like seven to ten pounds and that's maybe because of like the water retention they had the bloating things like that others said that they didn't lose any weight that quick like how others were saying but that they were now able to actually lose weight which they weren't able to lose any while on the IUD so they were just like a lot of things that I was reading that make convince me to get my IUD removed so I will keep you guys updated on how the removal and how I'm feeling things like that I did ask my doctor how long it would take for the IUD to or like the hormones to kind of get out of my body and he said it would be like about a month so in about a month I'll see how I feel I'll film all of it for you kind of my journey without the IUD and how I'm feeling my weight things like that um, but yeah, guys, this was literally, or this is my last resort that I did want to try the IUD. Um, so we'll see how it works now, not being without it, see if I get better, see if my symptoms get better, see if anything gets better, you know? So yeah, I just got to wait one month, see how it goes. I got to keep working on my diet, my exercise, water intake, things like that. Just because I got my IUD out doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. And... Yeah, but for those of you who are interested, I literally, like, just Google, like, symptoms of IUD, reviews of IUD, the marina, um, and there is a ton of, like, reviews, there's videos on YouTube, there's a ton of stuff. So this is just my personal experience and what I experienced with the marina IUD, now thinking back on it, um, but again, like I said, I do love it as a form of birth control, just... I'm not sure if all my symptoms that I have are related to the birth control. I still don't know. So I'm not blaming it on that. But we will we'll see. Um, if you do guys like have any questions or if you have similar stories or anything, just comment down below. Let me know anything that you guys want to see next. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>